Hi, welcome to our Git and GitHub a practical course. And thank you for enrolling. Let us start our course by knowing what is Git. But before we know what is Git, we need to know what is version control system. Because Git is a version control system and falls under distributed version control system. So let us see what is version control system first. Version control is a system that records changes to a file or set of files over time so that you can recall specific versions later. We can find three types of version control systems local version control system, centralized version control system, and decentralized or distributed version control system. As we have seen three types of version control systems and the first one is local version control system. We have seen that in our day-to-day -day life we keep our daily work in one of the folders or directories by giving some useful and common names we just can remember easily and work with them. This approach is very common because it is so simple but it is also incredibly error prone because it is easy to forget which directory we are in and accidentally write to the wrong file or copy over files we don't mean to. To deal with this issue, programmers long ago developed version control systems called local version control systems that was having a simple database that was keeping all the changes to files under version control. So we can say that the version control system means the local version control system has a simple database that keeps all the changes to files under version control. It is installed and maintained usually on a single main system and one of the most popular version control system tools was a system called RCS which is still distributed with many computers today. As the days gone with developments, people started to work in teams and started to collaborate with developers on other systems. To deal with this problem, centralized version control systems were developed. These systems have a single server that contains all the version files and a number of clients that check out files from that central place. For many years, this has been the standard for version control. If we talk about its advantages, we can highlight some of the important advantages. The first advantage is everyone knows to a certain degree that what everyone else on the project is doing. And the second advantage is administrators have fine grind control. However, this system also has some problems which are considered to be major while doing a large size project with more number of developers. Let us see what is that drawback. If the single server goes down or gets problems, the entire team will get struck and no further development will be taken place until unless the server gets revived or maintained. It means that if the centralized server goes down for an hour, then during that hour, nobody can collaborate at all or save version changes to anything they are working on. If the 
if the hard disk in which the central database is on becomes corrupted and proper backups have not been kept we may lose absolutely everything means the entire history of the project except whatever single snapshots people happen to have on their local machines local version control systems suffer from this same problem means whenever we have the entire history of the project in a single place we may lose everything if we don't have a proper offline backup or online backup so in order to avoid this type of problem the distributed version control system or decentralized version control systems have been developed in a distributed version control system clients don't just check out the latest snapshot of the files rather they fully mirror the repository including its full style so in general we can say that every clone is really a full backup of all the data of the project furthermore many of these systems deal pretty well with having several remote repositories the developers can work with so we can collaborate with the different groups of people in different ways simultaneously within the same project this allows us to set up several types of workflows that are not possible in centralized systems such as hierarchical models so it is all about the different types of version control systems and as we have seen just now that the most useful and secure version control type is distributed version control system and luckily the git which is very secure and most widely used version control system is the safest one to collaborate with the developers and also almost all means most of the open source projects are running on the github server controlled or managed by the local git terminal or git bash which is used to interact with the remote github server so let us see what is git and its working style git is a distributed version control system and is different from other distributed version control systems so it is our time to know about git and its working flow conceptually most other systems store information as a list of file based changes these other systems for example cvs subversion perforce bazaar and so on take up the information they store as a set of files and the changes made to each file over time as delta change and hence this type of version control systems are described as delta based version control systems as we can see the slide the changes are considered as the delta in case of other version control systems over a period of time but git does not think of or store its data this way instead git thinks of its data more like a series of snapshots of a miniature file system means a stream of snapshots and also if you observe the changes of the project we can see that the changes are not stored in the form of a delta but the entire file is taken as a snapshot over a period of time means whenever we make a changes to the project permanently 
git stores that changes as the snapshot of the project the permanent change to the project is done by the commit and the message which we will see throughout the course but for now we will see how git works in simple way as we have seen just now that git is good for hosting and storing the project files with the most secure environment it has three main states that our files can reside in modified staged and committed modified means you have changed the file but have not committed to your database yet staged means you have marked a modified file in its current version to go into your next commit snapshot and finally committed means the data is safely stored in your local database permanently this leads us to the three main sections of a git project and they are nothing but the working tree the staging area and the git directory in between the working directory and the staging area we will find three more steps untracked unmodified and modified so in the git workflow here you can see the three steps as i mentioned just now untracked unmodified modified and finally the staging area the basic workflow of git terminal follows the steps mentioned in this diagram means we modify files in our working tree we selectively stage just those changes we want to be part of our next commit which adds only those changes to the staging area here we can see the file which is directly added to the staging area and the file which has been modified means the existing file which has been modified and added to the staging area if you don't want to add the recent changes to the staging area either you can remove the file or you can undo the changes and finally we do a commit which takes the files as they are in the staging area and stores that snapshot permanently to our git directory here you can see the git directory or it is commonly known as the git repository or in general you can say the project which is maintained by the git terminal or git bash in our system here the word permanently is very important unless until we make a changes to our project permanently the changes won't be considered as the part of project change or development the project is developed means either the owner or leader else the collaborator has made a change to project permanently regarding a permission for the collaboration and reviewing we will see in the course in detail so this is all about the git and its working style we know that at this moment we cannot easily catch the things but once we start our practical work i am sure that you will definitely understand and all your doubts get resolved without any conflicts so let us start our work and for that see you in the next lesson